I swear to god they're doing this on purpose at this point. Command Bravo 1-1, one, one. I've got both engines out, so I'm uh... Yeah, I'm going down. Get shit on spine. Good morning, brave gamers. After a well-earned assassination attempt by a rogue element at command, I found myself far from Love Island in a distant realm they called Tamriel. I'm tempted to say that I regret the things I had to do to get back to the land of Vital VR. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. But that's a bald-faced lie. I don't regret any of them. Still, Command wouldn't let me back into the Naval Air Forces on account of me being marked, quote, confirmed killed in action, end quote. So I took up a job as a minimum wage Amazon close air support delivery driver. Don't get confused. My services aren't limited. Ground targets? We're killing them. Air targets? We're killing them. Teammates? We're killing them. The only thing stopping us from accomplishing our delivery now is an unresponsive air traffic control tower. Tower Kilo 1-1, one, one, are you able to grant me takeoff clearance? Kilo 1-1, one, one, tower unable. You can't spell unable without able. Give him a little bit of this. A little one of these. Now let's get out of here. Our first objective for today is to eliminate the enemy aircraft. This will pose a significant challenge. The enemy's fifth generation fighters were built with non-Euclidean acute angles, radar absorbent materials, and radar detecting counter radar radars that turn the aircraft's radar cross section from the size of a fighter to the size of a particularly small winged insect. And there's a stealth fighter. Never mind, there they are. Box two. Box three. Oh! Didn't see that missile at all. Well, that's splash on him. Oh, we still have the mass. Oh no, I can't toggle weapons anymore. Oh, that's why I can't toggle the weapons. Oh, I don't have any weapons. Hmm. I got it, Betty. Kilo 1-1, one, one, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys around. Well, shit! Pretend that never happened. Here's what actually happened. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, boy. Box 2. Box 3, Box 3! Negative impact. Missile Box 2. Fox 2. Shoot. Fox 2. Fox 2. Missile launch. Well, for me. There we go. Alright, off to the war. Be advised, our ships are departing from port now. Multiple hostile aircraft incoming. Please provide cover. Copy. How bad do you want it? I am now Command's last hope in defending a departing aircraft carrier. The strategic-minded viewer might be wondering, doesn't the Love Island Navy possess any air defenses? Why? Let's just say that these units shouldn't be relied upon. Oh, rip that dude. He just got annihilated. Objective complete, hostile bombers. But today, today those brave troops should be relied upon. Hey, real quick, please like and subscribe to support my brave wingmen, because I sure as hell am not. The skies were now clear of all hostile threats. Time to switch up targets and eliminate an enemy armor column. And let's get our laser bomb markers on and bring it around town and just drop a laser guide at all these bad boys. We now need to decide which vehicle is the highest priority target. Three of the vehicles carry 203mm self-propelled guns. Two of the vehicles are on air defense with heat-seeking missile launchers. And the lead vehicle has a set of speakers playing Russian hard bass on repeat. Paveway. And that one is going to ding that guy right in the head. I'm sure of it. Let's just keep a good lays on him. Take your time. Man, it'll hit someday. Pow! Shack one. We really should be targeting the this guy. And that's why. Chap, flare. 
Yeah, luckily they're only using IR missiles, so it's kind of chill. Paveway. Paveway. We're good. Jack one. All right, the other guys we don't even really need to use a bomb on because <laughs> they're just tanks. What are they gonna do? Spin their turret around too fast? And that's exactly what they did. It was f***ing terrifying, but comparatively easy to shoot down. Now that this armor column was a smoldering wreck, Command tasked us with finding and destroying another one, just for good measure. There was, however, one small catch. Oh man, we're out of bombs, aren't we? Ha. Huh. Well, we know that the enemy armor column comes across the bridge. So we could just... We just gun them. Alright, now let's just find these guys on the road. I'm gonna cut my engines real quick because I know one of them. Is, oh, let's zoom that out. Yikes. I know one of them comes packing heaters. Smoke off! Oh, they didn't even get to the it bridge. Looks like that hostile armored unit is making their way to the base. Destroy them before they get too close. Let's do this the easy way. We're gonna climb up super hard and then just dive down on them. What's poppin'? Wingman, engage my target. Roger that. What was that noise? Oh no, that was my last Vulcan shot. Oh, we were so close. Now we gotta go rearm. That's trash. It seems that I overlooked the most powerful weapon in my arsenal. My teammates. They did the rest of the mission for me. Another challenge remained in our way to complete the mission. Remember how earlier in the mission, ATC was unable to clear us for takeoff? They were still busy processing that request. So trying to get cleared for an aircraft carrier landing. Carrier request landing was an exercise in futility. Carrier Kilo 1-1, please, can I land? We pressed on regardless. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Come on, engines, come back online, come back online. One down for two. One down for three. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> what did I just blow up when I hit the deck? Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you like variety gaming in general, or VTOL content in particular, there's plenty more of that on my channel. Until next time, have a good one.